Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Kel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys five different ways on how to decorate Valentine's Day mugs. I love this DIY so much and it is so kid friendly, especially when you're using the paint. You can have your little ones paint their own personalized mugs and keep it forever. If you guys like what you see and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified whenever I update content to this channel. If you guys are interested in seeing how to create these mugs, just keep on watching. This first mug will be a nail polish heart. To begin, take a sheet of wax paper or freezer paper and add strips of painter's tape on it. The key to making this heart proportion to the mug is to cut the paper to a similar size as the mug. Draw out a heart and cut it out and set the solid heart aside. Take the mug and wipe it down with some alcohol and place the heart on top of it. Be sure to press down firmly to remove any air bubbles. Fill a container with warm water and add your nail polish colors. You're going to want to work really quick because the polish actually dries really quickly and I have to do this in like three attempts. So definitely work quick on this. You're going to also want to take a toothpick and swirl it around to make a cute little design. Add the mug to the nail polish mixture and peel off the tape. If you get nail polish where you don't want it like I did, just take out some acetone and rub away the excess. Set it aside to dry for a few hours before using it. Next up, we're going to do this beautiful heart mug. Start with wiping your mug with some alcohol and with a highlighter, draw out the heart pattern that you want. After you have the pattern that you like, begin painting the hearts. I started with one color, then moved on to the next, and then the next, and I also bought the wrong kind of red paint, so I used a red paint pen instead. I also decided to add some gold polka dots last minute. Bake it according to the instructions on your package and enjoy! For this mug, wipe it down with some alcohol and take the heart left over from the nail polish heart mug and place it in the center of the mug. I then took some pink paint and placed it on the bottom half of the mug. I want the brush stroke detail in the final product so I didn't bother smoothing this out. Add some lavender and work your way up to the darker purple, making sure to blend and create a nice gradient effect. When you're done, remove the heart. If the paint got on the rim or bled through the heart, Wipe it away with some acetone. I drew out the word love with a highlighter and went over it with a silver paint pen. Once the silver had dried, I removed any highlighter markings with a cotton swab. Bake the mug according to the instructions on the package and enjoy! Number 4 this mug is super easy. Again, wipe it down with some alcohol and freehand XOXO. I wanted the brush strokes to show in this as well, so I did not go over it many times. Feel free to be creative. I actually replaced the O with a heart. Isn't it so cute? I love it. If you saw my behind the scenes vlog, you'll know this mug gave me so much trouble. I drew half a heart, similar to the way I did it in the first mug, and added some tape to the actual mug. I then used a gold paint pen and filled in the heart. Next, I added the word love, and off camera I decided to add the word I and you to the top and bottom so I can say I love you. I baked it, and that was it. 